The village of Hamsey was originally called Ham. The Say family added their surname to the village at some point in history. It's claimed King Athelstan once held a council in Hamsey in 925 AD. The village is recorded in the Doomsday Book and there are records of a manor hall being built in 1321. The village no longer exists and nobody knows for sure why. Two theories are that the population outgrew the area and moved away from the river or that frequent floods caused the villagers to move. Another theory states the Black Death is to blame. The villagers isolated themselves from the rest of the world and either died of plague or starved to death. What really happened to the villagers? Did they simply move away? Or did they suffer a gruesome plague ridden end? Evening guys, three peas after life. Tonight it's just myself and Dave from West Country Explorer. Good to see you again. And uh, we both wanted to redo the old Hemsey church, which is based. Um, uh, the old name for it was Haim, yeah. but it was changed to Hamsey. Or well, a family name. That's, yeah, yeah, yeah. The S E Y yeah. was added to the end of it. That's yeah. Right. Apparently, there was a village here. It was decimated by a plague. There, yeah, by the Black Death. Yeah, the Black Death. They don't know whether the people upped and left or they all closed the village off and died but any information will be in the beginning of the video are you ready for this i am okay yeah. let's go for it Okay guys we're off as you can see that's all that's all that remains of the old village of Haim it was renamed Hemsey now I have no idea whether these graves are connected to the residents of Haim or they were put here afterwards Have to try and read some uh, markings if we can. You can't make it out at all. I don't know, there's a bit of writing on that side. Look at that door, look. That is, let's see if I can make it out on the camera. I can't make it out. Anyway, it may be one of the original residents. But 
souls, I call upon you tonight to ask was you the residents of the old village Haim, renamed as Hamsey? Bloody birds. Right, my name is Paul. I come with the utmost respect and in peace. And I asked for the same back. If you could communicate with me and tell me Was you resident to the village home? Did you move on when the plague hit? Or did you all die here with the plague? Now, judging by the amount of birds up here, I think I'm going to go that way. Right, I'm going to load up this app, Souls. This black device on the left, you can talk through it. It's scanning. It will pick up whatever you say. My name is Paul. Well, the app is running, guys. Orb. Orb. Oh, very nice. That would be nice. Souls, I come in peace. I'm seeking the residents of the old village Haim. Did the plague decimate the village? Did some of you get away? Need help. You need help with what? What do you need help with? If you died of the plague, does that mean you're stuck on the earth? Is, is that class as an unnatural death? What I should be asking is, um, was the plague man-made? Down. Down? Am I walking over you by mistake? I do apologise.
on camera focus. It's a child's one. Jail. Jail. What do you mean by jail? Was you in jail? Killer. Killer? What the plague was? Or one of you was a killer? Harry. Hi Harry. I don't know why guys, but I've started to shake. I'm not cold. I'm not too sure of the date, but I think it was 1234. The old village of Haim, which was renamed Hemsey. Do any of you souls remember it? And was the old village decimated by the plague. She's dangerous. Who? Who's dangerous? What, is she the killer? Let me increase the lighting guys. There we go. Souls, speak to me. Who's speaking? Me, my name is Paul. I mean you no harm. I want to know what happened to the village Haim. What happened to it? Lover. Lover? You had a lover? Is that the one woman that's dangerous?
I do like these old graves. It's so ancient. Obvious. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, headache. Oh, who's affecting my head? That hurt. Roberts. Hi, Roberts. Is that a surname? I can't read any of these, they're all faded. Is that the Robert's surname? Channel. Channel. Is that what you're trying to do? Is that why you gave me a headache? Alone. Who is me? No, I've got uh, my friend Dave here. He's on the other side. He's filming too. Right then guys, for a second there my phone didn't seem to want to record, it was saying recording failed, recording failed, so I switched my mobile phone off, switched it back on, and as you can see, ta-da, I'm recording. Good evening, souls. My name is Dave. Paul is here as well. Paul's been here before. This is my first time. We both come in peace. We wish you no harm. We just like to communicate. Apologise if I accidentally walk over any graves. It's not intentional. Are there any souls here? Any souls like to communicate with me? The other night I used the Paratech app tonight, don't know if you can see it I'm going to try Spirit Talker. If there are any souls here who would like to communicate with me, you can do so through the device in my right hand. If you'd prefer to speak to Paul, you can do. I won't be offended. I've heard that there used to be a village here and that it disappeared. Why did the village disappear? Was it because of the Black Death? 
Did everyone die from the Black Death? Oh, I'll just come up. Edge. Edge. Oh. Edge of what? Have I? Am I at the edge of a grave? Did all the villagers die of Black Death? Or did they just naturally... Up. Up. Up what? Did they move sort of up north, further away from here? Is that what the villagers did? Fred. Fred. Who's Fred? Is that you? Is it Fred that's talking to me through this app? Did you used to live here, Fred? Ritual. Well, this is a church. So they do have Christian rituals here. Is that... Are you talking about the Christian rituals in the church? Or some other kind of rituals? Did Fred perform rituals? Was Fred a vicar at the church? Sean. Sean. Was, was Sean a resident here? Who was Sean? Was he related to Fred in any way? Pleasantly cool here today, tonight. It's been a warm day, and now it's a bit, a bit cool. Have memories. What kind of memories do you have? Were they happy memories? Sad memories? Memories of living here? I have memories. I've got lots of memories. Probably different kinds of memories to what you have. Quite a big old graveyard here, really. I don't know how big the village would have been in. Assault. Assault? Was somebody assaulted here? Who was assaulted? Is that the memories you have? Do you have memories of an assault? Suddenly I heard a noise, I thought it was footsteps, but it's an animal over in the field.
train horn in the distance. Sound. That's right, I was just talking about a sound, the sound of a train horn. Is that the sound you're talking about? Arthur. Who's Arthur? Would you like to talk to me, Arthur? Through this device in my right hand? I'll happily talk to you if you want to talk to me. Well, it's Arthur around here, is he? Whereabouts around is Arthur? And Sean and Fred. Are all three of them around here? And they're around in the graveyard somewhere? I know. What do you know? A few minutes ago you said the word assault. Do you know about an assault? Is that what you know? Looks like there might have been a doorway here at one point. Blocked up now. Well, so you said that you know. Question is, what do you Dear. know? Dare. Are you, are you daring me to do something? You tell me what the dare is. I'll tell you if I do it or not. I won't make any promises. It looks like it... Some kind of family grave, maybe that? Family tomb? The battery. No, you don't need to worry about the battery. This phone's pretty fully charged. And the device I'm recording with, that's got a pretty fully charged battery as well, so... Unless you're planning to drain them. I hope not. There's something I've never really seen before on a church. A hole like that. Wonder what that's all about. Goes all the way through. Wonder if there's one on this tower. On this foot. Oh, look at that, there's one here as well. My home. Your home? 
What is this your home? Did you live here near the church in this village? God. Well, they say church is a God's home. Are you in heaven now with God? Is that your home? But if anybody's seen little holes like this in church towers and you know what it's about feel free to comment when you say my home and god are you at home with god is that why you mentioned home and god is that where you are Jenny. Is, it, is that your name, Jenny? Did you live here in the village and now home with God? Us. Us. Who do you mean by us? Are you talking about everybody who lived in the village at one point? Yes, guys. Terrified. No, I'm not terrified. Are you terrified? I do fear the unknown. I think everyone does. The sirens in the distance. Fact. Fact. F A C T. I love this. where Dave went, he must be around the other side now. <laughs> Hi souls, you may recognise me. My name is Paul. I've been reading up on some of the history of this area. Harriet. Hi Harriet. That's a very old name. I would like to know what happened to the residents of the village Haim. Are they still here? Was you decimated by the plague? Or did you get away? There's rumours that the village closed off. Universe. Universe, that's unusual.
as I was saying, there are rumours that the village closed their borders to everyone else and literally died of hunger. and the Black Death. Are you the original souls of Haim? Haunt. Haunt? You haunt this area, do you? You shouldn't have to haunt the area, you should be at rest. You should be at peace. Are you all at peace? Did you come to terms and with the way you died? Why oh, is such a big open area here? The first Jim. time Hi Jim. The first time I ever came here, I picked up an EVP saying get the fuck off me. So I must have walked over somebody round about this area. So I do apologise if it was you that I walked over by mistake. Let us rest. I'm all for that, but what I don't agree with is, are you resting in your graves? Because if so, that must be extremely boring. Are you not in heaven? A better place? There is a God. Has he not come and taken you? To heaven? Speak. I am speaking. Souls. This symbol here, does it represent anything? It was something that Christ was sacrificed on. Did that not mean anything? Or was it something pregnant? Pregnant? That's different. Does not the crucifix signify sacrifice? What he died for? Our sins?
I believe. Unexplained. Unexplained. How do you take that, guys? I believe that there is an afterlife. I believe in unity, where we all come together as one in heaven. I'm going to load up a, another app. You've spoken through it before. It wasn't very nice the first time. So if you'd like to talk to... Bobby. Hi Bobby. If you'd like to talk to me now... One sec guys. Well, I'm going to go up by this lot up here because they seem the oldest and the wisest. I do apologise if I'm walking over anybody. Souls, you have a unique opportunity now to speak through this device I'm about to switch on. My name is Paul. Please tell me about the village of Haim. What happened? Hi. Was it plague that wiped you out? Are you trapped underground? How many died? How many died in the plague? Did you die of starvation? Does prayer help? Okay. I'm going to do my best for you, okay? Yes. 
I call upon our Lord God today to ask that he bless this land to help any and all souls that may be trapped or lost. Please help them to find peace and unity. Please help them to cross over, Lord. Amen. I'm hoping that helped you. Go in. Go in peace. Lord God, I ask that you bless. I ask that you bless this land. Put your hand upon it and release all these souls. Take them with you, so to somewhere better. Amen. Thank you for talking to us, souls. And I thank you for not harming us in any way. Goodbye. Why did that just sound like a whisper behind me? Feels like I've got spiders crawling all over my head. <laughs> okay, I do believe we are done here, guys. Find peace, souls. Find peace. Right, one second, guys. I'm just going to flip you around. Right, look at this. I don't know if this was another kind of door. Well, it looks like quite modern brickwork. This is all sort of flint work around, but that's modern brickwork, so... Lie. Lie? Who's lying? What's a lie? Because this graveyard goes on down here as well. Of course, I didn't realise there's all this down here. Hot. hot. Are you hot? Hearing the word hot when I'm in a graveyard makes me think of hell. When you say hot, I hope that's not your way of saying you're 
down below in the hot place. Compass this graveyard's mahoosive. Proper, proper mahoosive. Trust me. I'll trust you if you give me good reason to trust you. I don't distrust you at the moment. I'm completely neutral. Happy to trust you. Do you want me to trust you? Ooh, stop it, birdie bird. It's just me with a torch. Sybil. I'm happy to be civil. Oh. I'll always be civil to, towards you. Oh, right, so. Right, which way are these? Right, so. That grave's going that way, so I think I'm safe this side if I kind of step like this. <laughs> right. I don't want to, I think I should be all right on this little pathway here. Like I said, I'm sorry if I accidentally walk on any graves. It's not intentional. Talk. Yeah, I'm happy for you to talk to me through the through this device like you're already doing, yeah. I'll talk back. Or are you telling me I'm not talking to the viewers enough? Innocent. No clouds in the sky at the moment. Of course, there's no light pollution either, so you can see quite a few of the stars, which is lovely. Forgive my sins. Well, it's not my job to forgive people's sins. God will do that. God will happily forgive you your sins when you ask him to forgive you. He's a very forgiving God. He loves to forgive people their sins when they ask for it. Keep going. Yeah, I'll keep going. Where would you like me to keep going to? Hers. Hers? What, you want me to go to, to somebody's house? Tempted to try this door. Put that in my pocket. Well, doesn't surprise me it's locked. Knife. Knife. 
Has somebody got a knife? Is that why you're asking for sins to be forgiven? Did you do something with a knife? Something you shouldn't have done? Is that what this forgiveness is that you're seeking? I won't judge you if you did do something with a knife that you shouldn't have done. I always try to be as non-judgmental as I can. The. The? The what? That could be a little bit of a trip hazard if you're not careful, not watching where you're going. Are you going to begin something, or are you wanting me to begin something? If you want me to begin something, what is it you'd like me to begin? I might go back down here, guys. Meeting. Meeting. Begin a meeting. Visions now of souls beginning a meeting in a graveyard. <laughs> three. Three. What, three souls is a. Is that how many souls are going to be beginning the meeting? I've got this song stuck in my head. Don't know if you, any of you guys have ever watched Poltergeist 2. If you have, and you remember that creepy preacher fellow, he'd walk along singing that creepy song. Well, singing a song in a creepy sing-song voice. He'd be going, God is in his holy temple. Stream there, there is a stream near here. I'm not sure exactly whereabouts it is in relation to the church, but there certainly is a stream around here. I think the stream sort of over there. I think it sort of goes around in a bit of a U shape. Potential. A second ago, I heard a noise as if it a noise like a <laughs> what is it? What it was then? I 
So I don't know what these... Speak. Uh, well, speak. Am I not speaking enough? I'm always happy to listen to you speak. We can chat together through this device. Scarlet. Scarlet. Who was Scarlet? Uh, anchor motif on that tombstone head. Actually, mm. When you said Scarlet, you said it just as I started looking at this tomb. Is this Scarlet's grave? Is this where you're buried, Scarlet? Need trust. You need trust? Well, if you earn my trust, I'll happily give it to you if you need it. You can easily earn trust. You can easily lose trust as well if you're not careful. Why do you need trust? Was it lacking in your life? Did people used to betray your trust? Did you have trust issues? Susan. Well, was it Susan who betrayed your trust? Is she the one you need trust from? There's Paul there. Yeah. Well, I've I'm got. Sure, I'm not sure what they said on the app, but it sounded very yeah. intense oh. it on the uh, microphonic. Uh, I've been. They've been quite chatty on the spirit talk with me. Yeah. They're yeah, saying they need trust and like forgive my sins and stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah. I had to uh, help me and uh -huh. stuff like that. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm coming up to about half an hour's recording. Scratch. Yeah, mine's just gone over yes. half. Yeah. Alright guys, I'm going to stop you there a second. Okay guys, thank you for watching. Scary was an understatement. What do you reckon? Yeah, it was pretty scary. <laughs> yeah. Even though there's a house just off to the left there, yeah. it's still creepy. Oh yeah. How they can live there, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> but um, anyway... I'll soon know what we got on the necrophonic. It sounded intense. Mm -hmm. So uh, what I should do is slow it right down to 70% so I can hear. I shall put the word in on the screen and then speed it back up to 90%. So it sounds like what I've typed on the screen. If you disagree with that, then you can slow it down in settings on YouTube to roughly the same speed and you should be able to hear what I hear. Sound good? Yeah, that sounds good to me. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, thank you for watching, and thank you for coming, Dave. Oh, that's all right, my pleasure. I know you. I know you wanted to do this place. Oh yeah, I've been looking yeah. forward to this. So it's yeah. been good. The next one he wants to do is is field, I believe, isn't it? Yeah, oh, that sounds good. Yeah, yeah. you want to do his yeah. field, yeah. Yeah, that sounds so good. Yeah. I'm going to be taking Dave to all the old haunts where yeah. I've been already. Right, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm for that, up for that, yeah. Anyway, we'll see you again soon, guys. Watch Dave's channel, West Country Explorer. He's got some good stuff on there. So, see you soon. Right, see you soon.